Friends, good morning. I want to share with you today the words of Jesus in Luke chapter 19, verse 9, where he has just been the guest at the home of Zacchaeus. And he says to Zacchaeus and those who are listening, today salvation has come to this house. I'd like to speak with you about the Christian home today. That day when Jesus met with Zacchaeus, that home started to become a Christian home, a home where Christ was honored. That's what we want in our households, isn't it? We want to be a house where Christ is honored, where husband and wife love each other and forgive each other and honor Christ in their relationship with one another where they care for their children in the way that God calls them to, to raise them up in the ways of the Lord, and where children honor their parents as the Lord commands them to do as well. The Christian home is a place where we live as Christians together, which means, as I mentioned a moment ago, it's a place where we forgive one another when we fail because we Christians, of course, are not perfect. We need forgiveness from others. Others need forgiveness from us. We bear with each other. We also celebrate with one another. And together we spend time with the Lord, not only in the worship setting at church, which is very important. We want to be doing that as often as possible, weekly if possible. But we also want the Christian home to be a place where we honor God as we are there in the house, as we worship him, as we take time in his word as we sing songs together in our devotions. And so the Christian home is a place where Christ is honored, a, pr a place where we go to the Lord in prayer, we, where we ask him for what we need. And all of this we do because of what Jesus has done for us. He has saved us. He has given his life that we might live forever with him in his heavenly home. That's what we look forward to, isn't it? Because our home here in this world is temporary, the one that Jesus is preparing for us in the life to come, that one is eternal. So God bless you as you live with one another in your Christian home. Pray for your home life, for your spouse and children, for your devotional life, that together you would continue to walk closely with Christ. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you have done everything necessary that we might live with you in your house, in your Father's house, as you describe in your word. Help our earthly homes, Lord, to be a place where you are honored, where we draw close to one another, forgiving each other even as you have forgiven us, and where we draw together in worship and devotion to you. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings to you.